Hey there YouTube, this is SJM4306 back with another video. Uh, this time it is a mailbox um, package opening, I guess you could say. So I was contacted once again by my friends over at IC Station and they asked me, Sean, do you have any projects that you have in mind that you'd like to, to do, you know, if we were to provide you the parts free of charge? And I said, sure do. <laughs> so yeah, these are just a couple things that um, I'd ask them for. These will be long-term projects, so I'll be doing a separate video for each of them, actually going into detail of what's going on, but let's just dump it out. Okay, so here we go. So, I'm uh, going to have to decode this. <laughs> so, the first thing is a lattice breakout LED. What exactly is a lattice breakout LED? I'm glad you asked. Uh, as tape gets absolutely everywhere. So yeah. It is one of these um, 8 by I believe 32 uh, LED displays. And yeah, this will be awesome. So there's a uh, driver chip on here, the HT1632, and this is essentially just a, um, like an SPI, I guess you could say, a uh, serial protocol. So here we have chip select, read, write, uh, data, VCC, and ground. And uh, we have a little diode there, interesting, I guess, to show you that there's a uh, power getting to the board. So yeah. Um, so we're going to have to look up the data sheet on this chip here, which is a Holtec. Oh, I've heard of that before. Holtec HT1632C. Yeah, so exactly as marked there. So this is likely going to be some sort of uh, microprocessor. And what it's doing is uh, you talk to the, the chip here. It has a frame buffer. And you send it the, like, the data for the actual display. And then it goes through and it scans through and it displays it on the the LED displays here. So yeah, this will be very cool. Um, I'm thinking of making some sort of clock or something out of this, uh, or scrolly message board sign thingamajigger. Anyway, other than that, I have an idea. Um, I'll explain it in more detail later, but if I can buy a whole bunch of these motors, these are essentially um, like vibrating motors for phones. So, you know, when you get a phone call and your phone's on silent, there's a counterweight here and it spins around and it uh, essentially vibrates. So if I, I don't know how much torque this ha has, I'm going to actually have to test this out. Uh, these run on three volts apparently, and I'm not going to be using it as a vibrating motor. <laughs> I'm actually going to make, um, if you guys have ever seen, I'll include some pictures of um, flip dot displays. So they have seven segment versions that... They're essentially mechanical displays, much like this LED display in terms of like a matrix of pixels, but they have a disc, a mechanical disc, and one side's black, the other side's either white or some other color. And there's a, a electromagnet inside that can flip the disc one way or the other, and it only requires power to flip the disc. After you remove power, it retains the image, kind of like e-ink, almost, but not really. Anyway, they require some kind of uh, mechanical actuator. So if I can get a whole bunch of these motors, um, all I'd have to do then is um, fix an armature to them with a disc and mount them in a frame, and then I'll 3D print the disc um, in two colors, black and white. And yeah, that'll be able to, um, you know, cycle between one side or the other. All I need then is a H bridge, or, you know, a half bridge and then a... a a floating ground or something like that uh, in order to drive the motors so that they could flip one way or the other. So that'll be really cool. So I'm going to probably make like a little tiny prototype just to test that the concept works before I invest any money in, you know, buying. I would need, if I'm going to make a, a seven segment clock with um, seven segments, obviously, per digit, that would require 28 of these. So it would be a little bit of an investment, but we'll see how that goes. So I'll be doing a future video on that once I get the time. And just a handful of uh, transistors in order to drive this. I was thinking of uh, making a discrete 
uh, H-bridge solution using a whole bunch of these. These guys are, uh, let's see, uh, 2N222 transistors. These are just standard uh, small signal transistors. So I thought if I get a whole bunch of these, um, hopefully they should have enough current. I, I believe these are rated 200 milliamps each and this motor probably pulls like 50 milliamps if that. So we're gonna see about making some sort of mechanical display using these components. And yeah, that'll be in a future video once I get it working and I uh, have a like single pixel prototype working, then I will look into uh, buying a whole bunch more of these and making a large scale uh, mechanical digital clock. So yeah, look forward to that. And I guess today's theme is clocks. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna make another digital clock using this guy, so I'll have a separate video on that. I just wanted to introduce you guys to these. And uh, yeah, I'll have links to these, uh, these parts available uh, down below in the description. And uh, we'll go into more detail about the specifics. I'll pull up the data sheets for, for uh, this guy in order to find out how to drive. And maybe I'll do like a learn to code video on if you get one of these, how to exactly to write a driver um, that's processor agnostic so that, you know, it's not tied to a specific processor. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys like the quick video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.